Gavin, ancestor of the Seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valravan and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Ymir was a frost giant, a being of darkness, and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice, Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife, and they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods, the Old Father. hides the path to Valraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth.
Northman will not stop her. She will find what she is comes from ravens, align the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Druth. Look how much it's changed. with the mark of Valraven.
passing into another world that looks the same but feels different. An imposter world where the forest itself is watching.
journeyed into the wilds of her native land, living off berries, roots, and rabbits. It's not uncommon, you see. We call such a person a gout. Some, like truth, become gout in search of penance. Others, like Senua, the perjure curse. Those who make it back are forever changed.
The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of men was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home, loved ones, to head deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. She no longer felt fit for this world. She almost gave in to the darkness. But she 
She remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. She resolved to fight on and kill that which had become part of her. Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree and he stabbed himself with a spear and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry and gathered them in his mind and learnt them. Then he fell from the tree.
such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to kill her. Yet. Or nor at her. Biding its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian before her time comes? Tell me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Findan. The Northmen captured Findan's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast. It was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findan made his escape. What was Findan burnt away that day? But from the flames, a new man stepped forward, and Druth was born. Druth. The man that I am now. And though Findan never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, have found you, Sinua. 
I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. Is open. It's open. It's open. It's open. It's darkness. I know it from the wilds. It's coming back for me. Well, in the wilds, it never does. You think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, strikes out of nowhere, throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom, drowning the mind in fear, deeper, deeper, dragging you down so far into the void that maybe this time. There is no coming back. Help me. But there, Help. in the darkness, Senua. And she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Help. Reach out to me. Help. Senua. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus. 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 I see you. I see you now. You let me to the wilds. You trapped me there. Thank <laughs> you. 
now. Victory, bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. She would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. 